We already have quite a few number of questions here, Charles. I think most of them are concerning the banks. But first of all, um, I'd like to ask you a question with regard to what you said a while ago. So, uh, sorry, um, another question I personally have because I've been looking at the banks over the past couple of weeks, you know, because when the market rallied to 7,000, parang medyo naiwan yung banks. Uh, yeah. But in your slide, parang they're not as badly hit, no? Yes. As, 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 as compared to other industries. Now, ano yung view natin dito? All right. Uh, given that, is it good na medyo I increase my percentage in, or, or I even consider more banks right now? Mm. Okay. Given this direction? All right. So uh, l- l- let me l- l- let me take this opportunity to to reinforce my slides a while ago, my point a while ago, right? So narrative and numbers, okay? Th- what's happening with banks now is that it's not their numbers that is hurting them. It's the narrative. What's the what's that narrative? The narrative that NPLs are coming, NPLs non-performing mm-hmm. loans. So these are the loans that eventually people won't be able to pay back. Pay off. Ah, okay. 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 So to be honest, hindi pa siya dumarating. Why? Because of several reasons. Um, number one, um, because of Bayanihan One. If you remember Bayanihan One, it postponed the payments for yes. throughout the duration of the ECQ. So a couple of months, right? So so yeah. So it delays the formation of NPLs. Okay. Okay. But, okay. It, you might say that is that good or bad? Um, good in the sense that good only in a, an artificial sense because mm-hmm. nominally you don't see NPLs very high yet, okay. right? Mm-hmm. But it's also bad because it reduces the visibility of earnings going forward. The okay. visibility because hindi natin alam. Mas maganda pa sabi mo na lang sa akin. Ilan na lang yung mag NPL. <laughs> so I can I can take care of it now. I can book the losses oh. now, and I we can move right. on, right? Yes. versus us not really knowing what's going to happen right mm-hmm. so what's what the banks are doing right now if you look at their core earnings meaning if you think about just think about the interest um, earnings the interest income mm-hmm. that they're earning yes. it's actually up year on year okay it's actually up it's even up it's not 20 i think i saw the number was a while ago 28% now what but what the banks are doing is that they are proactively providing for this um bad loss expected increase oh, in kumbaga, NPLs. they're trying to guess already okay? okay what what will the bad loans be and they're trying to proactively provide for those right okay. and so hopefully in the future they don't need to set aside funds uh, to deal with this pandemic for so, the, so charles yan yung mga provisioning ano, for those who are not quite familiar so yan is actual cash ano, that they Correct. put aside Yes. That directly hits the profits, no? Tama ba? Yes. But in this period, not, oh, in this period, no, wala pa NPM. Just expecting yes. high NPLs. Okay. Yes. Kumaga parang okay. saving up for the for the worst. Oh. Okay? Right. okay. So okay. Now now going back to your other point, you mentioned that uh, before this last five weeks, banks mm-hmm. were the laggards, right? Yeah. And I believe this is exactly the reason why the narrative is still very bad. Mm-hmm. The numbers are still good if you look at it. The numbers are very oh. good, right? Yeah. But the narrative is is already very bad, and in fact, worse than than the other companies. If you think about it, for example, restaurants. Restaurants mm-hmm. are bad, right? I mean, walang well, lumalabas. But quarter mm-hmm. on quarter, you're already seeing improvements. Mm-hmm. In right. op, in contrast, for the banks, for for next quarter, you're like bracing for the worst pa. Baka mag spike yeah. up pa, di ba? So the mm-hmm. narrative is worse. So that's the reason for the underperformance. Now, okay. why did it why did it catch up the last five uh, weeks? I believe again, it's all about the developments about the vaccine, mm-hmm. the the um, the reopening, gradual reopening of the economy. Because if you think about it, di ba? Let's say may utang ka, di ba? You know, you're barely barely. Um, surviving right mm-hmm. you don't know when the pandemic will end you don't know when everything will be back to normal right so maybe sige kunin mo na lang yung property ko sayo na i'll default mm-hmm. right but yeah. once maybe once you hear about the vaccine maybe i think oh, take take <laughs> baka second half next year baka pwede oh, na lumaban na pwede so na sige by ano ano restructure na lang ng loans i'm not going to default okay. i'm going to keep my position i'm going to keep my business And I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna add more yes. resource. What have you, right? So, uh, I'm not saying it's gonna happen to everybody. 
Okay, but for some, right? So there's an improvement in the narrative for the banks recently that uh, that that explains the move. Okay. Okay. So right. Hopefully, I was able to yeah to answer. Yes. That. Thank you. Ang naalala ko dyan sa bayanihan to na yan eh. Binili nga yung loan payment mo. Siningil ka naman ng finance fee. Ano yun? Yes, yes, yes. Correct. <laughs> that you have to call the banks pa na, oh, itaka lang, I didn't ask you to extend my loan. Ano? <laughs> so anyway, so we have another few questions here, Charles, on banks. So here, uh, to, it's also a question I have. Ano? I think we're flashing it through Slido, guys. No? Yeah. What's your take on BDO? Ako, I've held this since the rough months. But it seems um, like uh, kahit siya yung banking, uh, uh, of course, the bank of the SM Group, it has lagged significantly. Correct. What's your take? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as, a, as an industry, I think I've addressed the industry view already. Yes. So, oh, why not? Uh, lahat naman sila nagrally. But yeah. if you look at BDO, maybe relative to the other banks, you might, oh. you might have also noticed that they also <laughs> lagged. Mm -hmm. okay, they also lagged. So, kumbaga yeah. na una na si Metro Bank, si BPI, and then BDO followed just recently. And mm -hmm. I believe the reason could be, again, that what, what's difficult with markets is that you know, we, 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 we don't really know what they're thinking. We're trying That's to right. make our best guess, right? But I can't just oh. Google why is BDO weak. <laughs> I can't just do that, right? So oh, we're, we're, in a way, we're trying to read their minds. And yeah. so my guess, again, this is also an, uh, my, my best guess, but it's just a guess, right? Is that historically, BDO has been trading at a premium, right? Mm -hmm. Versus oh, okay. the other banks. And so with this pandemic, right? Kumbaga, mas malaki yung downside nila, if you think about it, right? That's right. Um, so, so yeah, so that one, and um, that, that's part of it. And maybe another part, and again, this is just my, my personal view, is that compared to the other banks, they're less aggressive when it comes to provisioning. Okay, okay. okay so, look at what like so, so, yeah, so the Metro Bank is more aggressive, BPI is more aggressive, the other banks, the smaller banks also are more aggressive. So, so maybe the, 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 the markets would prefer that you provide today, right? Mm -hmm. So that next year, growth na tayo. You know, okay. Kasi okay. if you don't, kasi sooner, I mean, whether you provide today or tomorrow, it's the same thing, right? I yeah. Mean, if it it's, hits it's you, you have loss, to right? provide for it. Oh, yeah. So at least providing today gives you that buffer, give, gives you that caution mm -hmm. that um, you can with, with, withstand the, the crisis, right? But, okay. but again, having said these two factors, uh, over the long term, I don't see any reason why mm -hmm. BDO should underperform. So so, yeah. so so over the long term, I'm actually I'm actually bullish with BDO, right? okay. uh, because I, I don't think I don't see any <laughs> any reason why si BDO lang ang may malaking NPLs, the rest of the banks wala parang e pare pare mm -hmm. sila ng customers. Oh, so so okay. yeah, so I don't see any long term reason why it has to stay that way. Okay, all right. Here's a slight uh, market question, Charles. I, I hope you can lend your knowledge also here. No? Who is buying the market? Value turnover seems to be above average and the foreign investors mostly are selling. Can we validate okay. this? Okay, yeah, that is correct. Um, foreign investors still net selling, right? Mm -hmm. Although to be fair, it's not as bad as... Um, as uh, for the first five months of the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm, Dati mm -hmm. talaga every single day. Ngayon, maybe once or twice a week, you see a foreign buyer. Yeah. So it's not as bad, right? Who's buying the market? Well, just dalawa lang naman yung pwedeng choice. So if not the foreign, then it's the local, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I, I think, I think, um, I think um, it has to do again with optimism, right? Optimism uh, globally about the vaccine, about the declining cases, right? So, uh, so yeah. So, the 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 the, the maybe the retail investors also yeah. has been has been. I, I've 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 noticed, you know, the retail investors has also been aggressively yeah, aggressively quite. participating in the markets. Maybe partly because the 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 smaller issues have been going mm -hmm. up, right? So, yeah. kumbaga, siguro mas may risk appetite. You're making money, right? So, yeah. sige. Um, I'll add more exposure, I'll buy more, right? Mm -hmm. And usually it's very normal naman once you see a sustained up move. 
it's very normal behaviorally speaking for people to Susunod buy more. Susunod na yung rally. Oh, kasi ay, parang yung kung nag-aantay ka, I, I remember the sentiment. Ko, no? so convinced ka na eh. No? <laughs> Taas na. Yeah. Convinced ka na. Like, ano ng pera. Oh, so, yeah, one tool that we, we I've mentioned before, no? so, uh, sentiment, no? uh, understanding mm-hmm. the market sentiment. Uh, if I recall, maybe f- before the rally five weeks ago, everybody was kind of bored. Bored mm-hmm. is probably the word. Uninterested. Uh, bored. Yeah. Right? So, they, voila, nothing's happening with the market. Sideways every day, down a little bit, along a little bit. And then All suddenly you see thin, prices going up. Yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, that eh, baka sabihin mo, ah, wala naman nangyayari, eh, may pandemic pa rin. But mm-hmm. now, prices are going up. Teka, teka, teka. Baka maiwanan ako. So, maiwanan ako. Maiwanan <laughs> ako. That, that's that's very normal behaviorally speaking and I don't see anything different today. Okay. Ah, right. Wait, uh, j- just to add, okay. The last Sige. today and yeah, maybe today, just today, for today, today is the last day of the MSCI rebalancing also, right? So uh-huh. that is the reason why today you have really huge volume, but that's only for today. Okay. Okay. Quick question, Jen Charles. No? Kasi we've asked, we've been asked uh, by our customers also in premium uh, with that. No, san katitingin ng rebalancing notices for MSCI? Kasi parang in their experience and also my experience, I always get you know surprised by these things. Okay. Um. Um. They Hindi friendly yung it. MSCI they actually... website. Eh. <laughs> Ang hirap niya sabi ni. It's, it's in the MSCI website. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's there. Sige. But they don't give the the weightings ah, for okay. the public. Just, so, sa sabi lang okay. yun, For example, this last one, it was announced, uh-huh. I believe, November 10, probably. Yeah. They announced it on November 10 that okay, we're gonna remove RLC from the standard index, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, effective November 30, but holiday siya, so today's the last day, mm-hmm. right? Um. Uh. Yeah. But they won't tell you the weightings. So okay. I think you have to subscribe to their services before they give you the Para But okay. yeah, but uh, they do announce it in their website. So if you already, like for example, for us, we already know that they announce it four times a year, right? Mm-hmm. So plus three months lang. So November 10, and then so plus three is February, and then May, mm-hmm. and then August, right? Okay. So around that, that, that those days, um, we're, we're also checking the, the website already. The website. Okay, that's a very nice tip. Okay, ito. Ito may friend ako dito pare. Uh, pag December, yung pinambibili ni ng regalo niya sa asawa niya, yung kinikiti na sa stock market. So, ito yung question sa customer natin. Typically, December outperforms. But with the no new norms and all that has happened so far in 2020, will December still be higher than November or at least better for the for the stock okay. market. Tung particular December na to. Okay. Um uh I don't know. I don't know the answer. I really don't know the answer. I wish I knew the answer. Right? Uh, but I don't know. <laughs> diba kaya yung leaning slam on spending, diba kasi puro tayo anecdotal like me and my wife, we are not giving as many gifts as before, no? Or diba companies are not expected to throw parties. So I don't know, yeah. diba? Parang ganun. Yeah, but again, uh, yeah, th- that's correct. But again, it's all about again what is already been priced. What has already priced been priced in? in yeah, tama. Matagal na, to be fair, na din ko na siya Palo medyo matagal na, eh. di ba? Na parang oh, as early yeah, as you know, August, June, o- June, July, August. People are say saying na paano na yan by end of the year wala nang Christmas bonus because they already paid the 13th month pay. Yeah. You, you remember this? Tama. This ano? So yes. so. Uh, that's that's the that's to be honest, that's the difficulty with the stock market. Even mm-hmm. if it's a perfectly valid point, right? Perfectly mm-hmm. valid analysis. Wala nang 13 month pay, wala nang Christmas party. Syempre, kumbaga yung mga comp- yung mga company wala na rin pang bonus. I mean, diba? Very mm-hmm. struggling, right? People don't uh-huh. have jobs. So, yeah. all these analyses are correct, right? But the next question and the in- the te- the infinitely harder question is alam na ba ng market? Yeah. Because if it's and already answer, priced think, in, yes. then <laughs> if if you think it's I don't know, I don't know the answer. You can ask, oh, okay, you can know. Okay. But if you think it's priced in, then we shouldn't use that information anymore. Mm-hmm. So th- okay. that's my point. In the, I know, so it's up to you. If you think it's not yet priced in, then that's bearish. We, we should we should be careful. But if it's already, if you believe it's already priced in, then 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 we shouldn't worry about it anymore. Now, if something oh. unexpected happens, for example, let's say you know, let's say knock on wood now. Let's say something happens with the vaccine. Now, check me side effect. 
ano pala, oh. tas stop na lahat ng whatever. I'm oh, sure that's yeah. not expected. That's I'm not sure expected. that's not expected. So that's a different thing. Markets mm-hmm. will probably sell off. Right? But yeah, hopefully right. it doesn't happen. And th- that's maybe the extreme case. Baka, re- im- baka unlikely yung mangyari. But somewhere in between, maybe mm-hmm. that's the more problem. But yeah, that, 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 that's my that's my point. Okay. Talking about the MSCI rebalancing, ito, uh, a customer is asking, can the panelists share their views on the BPI sell-off today? Yeah, puro banks ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, sige. Okay, so BPI sell-off. Okay, I, I, I believe that BPI was also a beneficiary of the rebalancing. Right? Mm-hmm. Ah, um, beneficiary. So beneficiary okay. because tinaasan yung weighting niya. It wasn't mm-hmm. added. It has already been there, but the weighting of BPI was increased. right? So if you noticed, uh, after the announcement, I believe, again, November 10, you see BPI prices rally significantly. Kasi bakit? Mm. Again, because they are already anticipating forward looking, di ba? They're already mm. anticipating that fund managers will be forced to follow the index by November 27. So kung ako, mm-hmm. trader ako, I'm gonna buy ahead of November 27, right? In fact, I'm gonna buy as early as possible. So on that day, kung nalaman ko, I'm gonna buy BPI. So if you look at it, BPI share price has rallied significantly over the last um, uh, one or two weeks, right? Mm-hmm. And Usually, ang play dyan is, okay, I buy as soon as possible and I sell to the funds on the last day. Kasi mm-hmm. I know they're forced to buy. Okay? Mm-hmm. But sometimes, because again, unfortunately, it markets is not that easy. Right? So markets um, price that in, that information in also. So maybe what happened was, and I can only say this, definitely in hindsight, what happened was maraming tao masyado yung nag-anticipate of the last day pop. <laughs> Get it? Okay. And okay. it didn't okay. happen for whatever reason. Baka naparami mm. yung bilhin nila. Mas marami yung <laughs> nag-arbitrage, yung mm. nagsisell kaysa doon wow. funds that's following the index. So <laughs> you saw the gap down. So okay. usually, okay. on the last day of any MSCI rebalancing, it, 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 didn't, it didn't only happen for, for BPI, okay? Um, today, if you may have noticed, SM was also down, got down then at the close. I yeah. think by about 3%. Globe was also down. Um, RLC was also down, but RLC was removed. right? But you see, so you, usually at the last day of the rebalancing, you see major volumes, as in uh, several billions in terms of volumes. Right? And, mm-hmm. and that could potentially cause gaps. So it's not really out of the ordinary. Is what I mean. Okay. All right. Ito, one of the few companies na sikat na sikat because of our flight attendant friends. But again, next question is, uh, ano yung uh, discount na ni market dito on Cebu? Okay. What's your view on Cebu? No? Um, hmm. uh, generally, I'm bullish. Okay? Because okay. again, um, Uh, alam na natin you know, yan eh. I mean, no, alam na natin. Madiscount na yan. But no? especially, especially actually when it was, you know, before it rallied. Ngayon, mm-hmm. syempre with the optimism of the vaccine, again, it rallied. And the only hesitation that I have, so I'm, I'm really bullish because, you know, again, eventually everything would would normalize. But siguro, it's not personally my priority because of their uh, um, capital raising activity. So what's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. So, so for those of okay. you who doesn't know, they're gonna raise capital. So, let's not get too too technical about it. They're gonna raise capital because simply because they can't they can't sur- um they would have a hard time surviving without it. Okay, so they need <laughs> to raise capital to give them buffer to to because <laughs> kahit may vaccine second half next year, every month they're losing money. Every yes. month they're 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 losing money. So they they're gonna raise capital. Okay, and so even if eventually earnings, let's say, uh, let's say, nala, I, I don't have the exact mm-hmm. number with me. Let's say earnings before the pandemic was at 5 billion pesos. Let's say, after the pandemic, let's say, sabi bumalik lahat to normal, 5 billion pesos. Eventually, let's say 2022. Yeah. But the problem now is by 2022, you have doubled the number of shares mm-hmm. because right. you had to raise capital today to withstand the, the hard times. So. Yeah. Yeah. So even if you're you're still making the same earnings, right? Your EPS, your earnings per share, which is the more relevant number, 
right, mm-hmm. would be lower, mm-hmm. depending yeah. on the additional capital that you're raising. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why I kind of prefer the other recovery plays rather, yeah, than, rather school, than this one. Right? Okay. Because okay. of that capital raising risk. Because right? in Dilution essence, risk, yeah. if you're, on your, in essence, you're borrowing money or you're raising capital, they're just in advance mo lang yung future earnings mo eh, to be used today. Something like that. Uh, yes. So and they later get on when you earn, babayaran mo. Yeah. yeah. Capital yes. Capital and yes. then they'll have yes. to pay for it. Uh, so okay. even if they don't go bankrupt, which I don't think they will, even mm-hmm. if they don't go bankrupt, the dilution mm-hmm. could hurt yeah. investors today. But you must complex pa pala yan. Oh. So may, may added layer lang. But okay. generally, I'm still okay, but it's just not my priority. I mean, I prefer okay. the other recovery place without that dilution risk. Okay. All right. Next question, Charles. What do you see the level of the PSEI next year? Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, sige. Yung yung na favorite ba? question Ay, ba? Yeah, yun yung favorite question ng lahat okay. ng tao. 2021. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I, <laughs> I, because, you know, I, I don't want, I really don't want to answer that because I, I think, I, believe, I really believe what would happen is if I give a number, you're not. Uh-huh. You're gonna forget about everything and uh-huh. just focus on the number, right? You, you get what I'm saying. Okay. So, for example, if I say seven five, you're. I'm not saying seven five. Example lah. Mm-hmm. So if I say seven five, people say ah six eight may upside pa, all oh. in na. And then, and then whatever happens for the next three months, for the next six months, once it reaches, let's say it reaches, it does reach seven five. Even if markets or has already changed, people will remember. Oh, you said ni person XYZ75, so I'm gonna sell mm. it, right? And blame him, blame me if I'm wrong. So, right? So I, I mm. really don't want, I, I don't want to lose the nuances of our discussion. So, but generally, uh, let me just try my best to answer that. Generally, I'm bullish. So mm. can I just say higher? Can yes. I just say higher? Significantly, <laughs> I, 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 I think it's gonna be higher next year. Right? Okay. Um, right. Yeah, especially after the, the correction, the last, uh, three or four days. I'm. I'm. I. I. I think it's. Uh, it's. It's. It should be higher okay. than than today. All right. At least that's a already yeah. a bold enough prediction in itself. So, yeah. uh, ito, another question. Uh, I think it's not on the list, but I think someone very special asked me to ask this. So, you think this rally will lift all the boats, right? Meaning not equally all, no. Yes. But I guess the challenge really here is how do we allocate more? So do you go for the liquid issues? Na gusto, gusto mga foreigners? Do you go for index heavyweights? Do you go value? Do you but no growth? Or do you want growth but expensive? Or do you put your money on illiquid issues with potential okay. catalysts? Um, well, I could answer that question. <laughs> it's a but bomb top, you know. No? <laughs> yun nga eh. that, that, that's my concern. I, I could. I mean, we, most we, priority we, than Charles. You know, extend na lang tayo to ten o'clock, and I can mo. answer all of those questions. <laughs> Another okay, part so, to to. <laughs> um, yeah. So, the, oh, maybe I could just answer like for today, like just okay, for today, for, for, today. for as of mo. now. Uh, um, your views are really be- um, better than you know what we can yeah. get so, across. So again, this is all, because I, again, uh, yeah, again, I, I can't really and hopefully, uh, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't get lost. The nuances won't get yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah, of course, of right? Course. But hmm. so for today, because I think what happened was na unang usually because what happens in the markets is that whenever you see a, a huge move, usually una oh. yung mga big caps. Yes, yes. Because when oh. fund managers buy, they buy first the big caps, right? Yeah, and then, yeah. pag mahal na, they rotate to the, sm- yes. the medium size, to the smaller companies. So I think oh. we're at this stage now where in the bigger caps are already there. Okay, okay. Mga, nauna na sila, sila SM, SM Prime, Jollibee, mm-hmm. nauna na. And mm-hmm. so now, I'm looking for those lag, smaller companies that would also mm-hmm. benefit from the recovery, pero hindi lang sila as priority. So the, the the second liners, right? Yes. Um, yeah. So that would be my priority. Uh, yeah. I in terms of the type of company, I'm still looking at recovery plays, not versus versus. Okay, not the resilient plays, mm-hmm. because usually resilient okay. nasa taas na yan eh. Yeah. Oh, di na sila, like for example, uh, CNPF, yeah. right? Yes. CNPF is ready. Uh, so I don't really want to prioritize it anymore. Mm-hmm. So I, I I'd rather prefer those that are 
really hit by the pandemic, but <laughs> will eventually recover without, yeah. you know, bankruptcy issues, right? So okay. Okay. yeah, those kind. So the recovery place, okay. Okay. Um. So yeah. So maybe yeah. And and you yeah. know, because I personally, I also I also use a lot of different tools. Like you know, I also mm. use technical right. analysis. I right. also try to look at the fund flows in and out of the right. Philippines. So that mm. also helps my decision. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't discuss everything today because people will get <laughs> yeah. bored. Okay, okay, all right. So in, I guess so. We're expecting rotation. Dun sa mga uh, not the resilient ones, recovery yeah. place and Ajumura. The recovery right. place, fantastic. The, a bit the smaller ones, yeah. Eto, more personal question, Charles. What are your three most favorite stocks? Huh. Today, <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm scared. If I say stops? it, if, if I say <laughs> that, people will stop thinking and just follow me and blame yeah, me afterwards, okay. right? So, um, but okay, uh, Your just uh, let, let's just say, uh, okay, medyo plug na lang. Just we are calling the shots. The calling okay, the shots okay. report. I, kung baga, di ba, we if you guys oh. are reading the calling the shots, hopefully you are. Hmm. We have two sets of recommendations, right? The yeah. resilient ones and the recovery ones. So I, yes. I, I'm looking. I like them, but I prefer the recover the, the, the long the recovery. Hindi yung resilient, yes. okay? I, okay? Okay, okay. Because medyo matas again, na sila. Yeah, I, I like the yeah. recovery one. So yun okay. na lang. So Sige. Uh, you read that report na lang. Yon. So, calling the shots, para, guys. Para the si story. April. Para si, si, <laughs> si boss ang ano? Ang mag oh. ang magsulat. Hindi ako. Yan. <laughs> Okay, ito medyo mahaba to pero sige, let's uh, iba na natin dito. All right. So, an- another question Charles no? So, bull markets are generally started by skepticism. So, at the start of this massive rally, laging may mga doubters pa yan. But die with optimism. Pag okay na lahat or when your doctor tells you about the markets and then tapos na yan, no? exactly. So, question is, are we optimistic already? Yeah, um uh <laughs> Personally, I don't think so. Right? Okay. I mean, if I, when I talk to a lot of people, again, there's still lots of lots of concerns, which is very valid, right? I mean, mm-hmm. kailan pa darating yung vaccine? May enough doses ba? Do we even have yeah. the budget to pay for the vaccine? I mean, you're still mm-hmm. hearing all those things, right? I mean, may yes. pera ba yung gobyerno? Um, mm-hmm. Bibigyan ba tayo? Or kasi nauna na mag-reserve yung ibang country. Those are the narratives oh. that, that, that yeah. we're, we're, we're seeing, still seeing up, up to this point. So I don't think we're near that yet. So maybe okay. once you're you're you know, you know you're hearing everybody more I mean more pa, like like uh you know people really aggressively buying maybe you know anecdotal evidence going go like using margin, um. But to be honest, I was a bit surprised you know that mm-hmm. that uh, in the poll a while ago like 68 percent was looking to add funds. So so yeah, yeah. maybe. Maybe not as bearish as I initially thought. Maraming optimistic kagaya ko. So, so oh. yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, I still see some hesitation. Mm-hmm. And yeah, but it's a very, it's really, I, I hope I could give you a quantitative answer. Right? Again, mm-hmm. we can't just go on Google and Google, you know, mm-hmm. uh, overall right. market sentiment today. I mean, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to answer that question. But to the That's best right. of my ability, it's much better now, obviously, than than five weeks ago with the vaccine. Mm-hmm. But still, yeah. I think we we still have a ways to go. We still have okay. a ways to go. So, pero medyo long term to. Ha. Again, please don't go on to Tuesday and just go all in <laughs> blindly and just blame me after. You won't oh. be able to find me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So some more stock specific question. I think we have a, still have a few minutes on the Q and A, no, Charles. Sure. But I just let, let me know if, if you're okay for me to ask this. So first of all, what's your take on Ali and Arit? Okay. Um, uh, okay. Ayala Land, I'm, I'm bullish. In a word, I'm mm-hmm. bullish. Uh, again, again I, I know this is a cyclical company. If mm-hmm. your assumption is that the economy won't do well, if that is your assumption, then feel free to to disagree with my view. But again, okay. my, my belief is that, that we've seen the worst and mm-hmm. I have faith in the scientists, in the in <laughs> those who develop the vaccine. Yes. I have faith in the, you know, the, in the process in, general, in which they were approved. <laughs> right? I, I, yeah, ho- tama, yeah tama. I'm optimistic. So, so I, 
I, I think that um, this is how we've already seen the worst, and that should benefit Ayala Land both on their residential side and their okay. malls uh, business, right? Um, so yeah, I'm bullish on that. Um, Aerit also would, yeah, I, I'm 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 also bullish because again, um, what what what's usually the the play in Aerit is a bit different because mm -hmm. if it's more of a more of a dividend play. Right. Mm -hmm. So the key, the key variable that I'm looking at is the dividend play, the dividend yield, right? Which is, mm -hmm. I believe is about five to six percent, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then sure. you compare that to bonds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. bonds right now again are at historical lows, right? Uh, short-term bonds at uh, less than two percent, long-term mm -hmm. bonds at three percent. So very, very low yields. Right, so as a, as a as a divid, as a ano, bond replacement, a bond alternative, right? I'm bullish on it. But but yeah, between the two, I'd probably prefer Ayala Land because the gains won't be as won't be as capped, right? Because it's predictable because the earnings ng A read. So in a way, it's also capped in terms of the mm -hmm. upside, right? But okay. I, yeah, bullish on all. <laughs> in Ito. general, in let, general, just wait for opportunities to buy. <laughs> Ito, okay, uh, just be patient, wait for opportunities to buy. But yes. Yeah. Yes. next question, Charles. Is Dito promising? Ito medyo sikat pas ka palo okay. weeks. I think na is na yung kaniyang ownership structure. Uh, what's your okay. take on this? Let, let, let me just give you facts, and it's up to you okay. to decide. Okay, si kasi okay. baka baka controversial eh. Di ba? So. <laughs> As of today, Dito would effectively own, I forgot the exact number, but about 52, 53%, if I'm not mistaken, 53% of that, that Dito listed company would own 53% of the telco, the, the, the telco, the third telco, right? And at its current market price and all the planned um, capital raising activity, I believe the market cap, the implied value of the third telco would be about 160 to 170 billion pesos. So that's the implied market cap of the third telco. Mm -hmm. Just to give you perspective, Globe is doing at 260 billion today. Globe mm -hmm. is valued at 260 billion pesos today. PLDT is at about three, 300 billion pesos today. So again, the numbers are 160 billion for Dito. 260 for Globe, 300 for PLDT. If you think that's a reasonable valuation, mm -hmm. if you think Dito is worth more than half of PLDT and Globe, then by all <laughs> means, right? But if you don't think so, right? Mm -hmm. Then I can't, I can't recommend the buy. So, okay. so yeah, that, that that that's just my my analysis of it. So yeah. Okay. Hopefully, Thank it you. answers the the question. The question. Yeah. Ito, quick question lang on research. Now, how far forward does the research team look? Parang how, how far, far forward, forward is the is the analysis of research? Can you say that it's a it's a you know three year view? Is it a five year view or is um, it a, well yeah the, well theoretically technically the answer to that question is is forever. I mean as far no, no, as okay. needed. I mean because that's okay. the value. For example, mm, okay, let okay. me answer it specifically. Okay. Mm. In research, we use for most of our companies, we use the DCF method, the discounted yes. cash flow method. And in that mm -hmm. method, we consider all future cash flows. So, okay. so the okay. target price that you're seeing there uh, it's in a, a way assumes, thing, in a yeah, way assumes yeah. that we're gonna hold it until forever. Okay, so okay. technically speaking, that's the answer, right? But mm -hmm. maybe a more on a more practical level, because you might say, which is a very valid point that mm -hmm. how can you forecast things five years from now or 20 years from now or 10 years mm -hmm. from now, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, practically speaking, um, we're also limited by the visibility of earnings. For example, mm -hmm. now, or for example, at the start of the pandemic when it broke out in March, we really didn't mm -hmm. don't know, we really didn't know how to cut our earnings estimates back then. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really don't know how. I mean, do we just assume 50% down, 60% down? How? Mm -hmm. We don't know, right? So. In a way, we're also limited by, you know, so we're also limited no. by the same <laughs> obstacles that everybody else, right. yeah, the information available. So, in that sense, the in terms of earnings visibility, 
the, I mean, the conviction in the earnings, maybe six to 12 months probably would be a good number, right? That, I mean, dun lang yung mas may, visibility, mas may conviction, mas may visibility in terms of earnings. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what we try, what we try to take into account, that's mm -hmm. all future cash flows. Okay, got it. All right, so for our final question, Charles, given the current market today, are you going to add... Are you gonna keep it the same, or are you gonna re reduce your personal positions? <laughs> I, I think you could already guess my answer. I'm, oh. I am patiently waiting for opportunities to buy. Okay, all right. I'm patient. Right. Okay. Just okay. be patient. You new, you new keyword yeah. for today. Just be patient. Yes. Right. I know I sound very bullish, right? Mm -hmm. But patience is key. Eventually, akit naman yung lahat eh. Di ba? Oh, but patience is key right. because we don't want it to buy and then in two weeks down. Ten percent, five percent. You probably oh. curse me, right? So, so just be patient. Um, wait for the right setups. If you know your technicals, if you don't know, try to buy in tranches, right? I'm sure okay. we're, we're teaching that in COL, right? So just mm -hmm. buy in tranches to avoid that risk because we never know, right? I mean, I don't say that in markets are overbought in the short term. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, now prices could drop five, ten percent um, next week. Right? We don't know what could happen, right? But again, with the right setup, with the right risk management, with the right, I mean, yeah, just- You're yeah. improving your chances to earn from yeah. that particular investment. So I'm, if you I'm, just I'm you know, be patient to, and you know, use the tools. Looking to buy to buy the tools. and I'm looking to hold for the long term. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Charles, for sharing your knowledge with us.